What's happening, Watch Pandas? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I just got my hands on this Foibos Automatic Diver, and this is actually the first Foibos I've had. I think it's pronounced Foibos. I've heard it pronounced Phobis, um, but it has an OI in it, so I'm going to pronounce it Foibos, which kind of sounds like foibles. Anyway, hey, wanted to show this to you because, uh, and really excited actually to get this in my hands because Foibos watches um, are, really have a lot of value and kind of a lot of bang for their buck. Comes with this uh, watch booklet here, manual. Um, it, it, it's obviously a diver's watch and kind of that classic diver's watch look and I, i'll tell you as i've been playing around with it here man i've been really impressed that's going to be kind of the theme of this and, and and one of that is because just of what you get but then also like i say think the value proposition so i'm going to kind of rush through this a little bit here uh what we have here is a uh, obviously a green colored watch very much that traditional diver style like the submariners or kind of any of the traditional watches that you like. And I would say that this is as good a looking diver's watch as I've seen in that traditional uh, style. And first of all, we have kind of this green, I think like a ceramic like outer bezel. We also have a green uh, metallic sheen face here. We have uh, circular pips at uh, the hour markers um, in the corners and then kind of the, the square lines and the triangular one, uh, Foibos silked on the top here and then the diver 300 meter automatic on the bottom now i will say this doesn't have the foibos logo which i think is an octopus and it's you know i i kind of on this watch like that but i will say that uh, they have a pretty unique looking logo too which is kind of cool uh there is a cyclops here which is on top of the crystal as you can see here just uh hovering on the top there so that uh, does a nice job of uh, illuminating that date window the my reflecting light there is not going to help that at all date window obviously in a white and then we also have minute markings all the way around and uh, just a really nice looking watch it feels great it is heavy and substantial i could beat someone with this and uh, <laughs> i like it we've got polished metal all the way around and uh, you know uh, crown protectors here and polished and then it looks like screw down crown because obviously 300 meter water resistant i'm just going to unscrew it here as you can see pretty good knurling there we also have the Foibos P on etched on the top of it and I'm just gonna pull it out here and see if we can kind of move this around a little bit there and let me see if I go in one more okay I can feel us winding the movement which we'll get to and then it looks like maybe there's this uh, intermediate position there for the date a little trouble uh, precisely moving this thing big chubby hands um, well I'm not gonna sweat that right now See, I can roll over the date at midnight. But uh, I'm just going to push this in here. Really smooth action on that. And that's because I believe, let's screw down the crown here, believe it has the Miyota automatic movement in it. But before we get there, I just want to show you a uh, unidirectional bezel. Big pip sticking out at the, the 12 o'clock position. Wonderful clicks. Super smooth action. It's not hard to turn, but it's not um, like sloppy. So, you know, it's perfect. What I like is the perfect balance and then the first 15 minutes for diving purposes marked off. As you can see also, you know, I should have pointed out, we also have the Mercedes style hands here uh, with polished silver, which kind of emulates the polished silver around the luminous markings there. Uh, the thing I was gonna say about this is that sapphire crystal stainless steel construction. I mean, a watch like this you know with a big name brand on it is brutally expensive and uh you know watches with lesser construction you know maybe stainless steel but maybe a mineral crystal or even glass you know that look really good that kind of emulate that diver style watch you know just will have for bargain basement components and this one obviously has gone pretty high end and there you can see kind of the the sweeping of the seconds hand i do like the the two-tone finishes here so we've got a lot of polish but then we have the brushed uh, metal band here the brushing starts on the lugs so it really looks nice feels great this is not like a cheap band where you can feel like the wiggles and it feels thin obviously you can see it's solid links not rolled metal the buckle here is a little bit of a value buckle but it's actually a quite a bit of a step up from the really inexpensive one so you can see here got a push button that uh, grab this little um, pin there and then it buckles down here and then again a little brushed look on the buckle foibos on that end and 40 millimeter watch so it's a little 
little small and I would say this is probably like a seven inch band sizing on here right now because I kind of wear a seven and a half inch so it's a little tight for me but man look how nice that is you know I don't even have I think any green watches per se green uh, in my collection got a little dust on the crystal there um, but man this looks great and I, and I kind of like how it's dark it's kind of like a shiny olive it's not olive draft it's like olive dark and it's it's subtle and kind of stands out and just has a really really nice quality look to it and it feels phenomenal phenomenal all right so i'm going to take it off here let's take a look at the back because i want to show you that we can't see much we have uh, a, a screw down back here automatic divers uh sapphire crystal foibos and the shark on there 1000 feet water resistant that's probably to have this kind of screw down back on it is helpful in the water resistance that's the crisp uh the sapphire crystal probably helps a little bit and then obviously the screw down crown so it has true diving cred you know and it's maybe maybe you could argue it's a little disappointing that you can't see in the back but i get that you you, you know you want to achieve your purpose first and that's probably to have a diving watch now uh, i will say i think it was the miyota movement i um i know in the book it kind of gives you some different movements here for uh, different watches and I kind of think maybe it's the 9015 because that looks like it has the date window here so you do have this automatic movement uh, Miyota movements I have had Miyota movements before I have Miyota movements in some of my watches they have been uh, super reliable they're like the 3800 series GM V6 motors man they're just uh, bulletproof and reliable and they work really really well so uh, I have no doubts that you're going to find many years of maintenance-free, you know, high-quality, high-precision timing with this movement. But I just wanted to sh check it out. Now, let's get to the best part of it. I'm not a affiliated with Foibos, and actually it was uh, Watches Galore and Aaron Dunlop channel that actually hooked me up with this to show you guys. Because otherwise, you know, like I said, I never had one come through the, uh, the shop here, which is a little disappointing. But the cool thing about this is just the unbelievable value. Right, so if you like this diver's watch, you like the, the great construction of it, but you're saying, hey, I can't really afford a really nice watch. Well, th this brand is probably for you. And if you can afford nice watches, and you're like, well, I wish I had a couple different watches to match a couple different outfits or a couple different color schemes. Well, you can pick up multiple of these watches. This is a $269 watch. So for the people out there who have poo-pooed some of the other watches saying, hey, they're overpriced, you know, or uh, quartz movement at 1200 bucks. Well, here is the antidote to that. This is a watch that has an automatic movement. So you have that reliability. You have that kind of maintenance-free um, you know, peace of mind that you get with a Miyota movement. You don't have to worry about batteries. You get just an unbelievably solid construction with high quality materials, right? So check it out. I'll put a link to it in the description. But man, you know, for being the first foibos to come through my, um, uh, you know, my doorway here, uh, I, I hope it's not the last because I'm really, really impressed with this. This is definitely a watch I would drop some money on, wear it every day, knowing it's going to hold up to just pretty much anything I can throw at it. And also, you don't have to worry about it. Lots of great style. Uh, at a glance, it looks like so many other, you know, really high-end watches. And I won't even throw out those brands because I think, you know, this the, the quality and the style of this watch stands on its own. So check it out. Peter Von Panda, out.